Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Clutch Sport Cards. My name is Stephanie, and today we have a pretty exciting rip. Um, I actually found these a few days ago uh, at Target, and I was just waiting for these to come in the mail because I wanted to do them all together. So, um, these are the like little 10 cards per pack retail back retail packs excuse me and they're five dollars each and so this is a total of thirty dollars worth of retail packs these are the rookies and stars fat packs which have 40 cards in them and these are 15 apiece so between the two of them we have a thirty dollar value and then in the back we have one blaster which is also thirty dollars so today we're going to open all this we're going to see if we can pull some good rookies hopefully some good parallels some numbered cards stuff like that but we're also going to kind of see if you're going to go out and you're going to spend $30 on rookies and stars is what format would be the best one to do depending on what you get out of it. So um, we're going to start with these retail packs, I think, and we'll build up to the blaster and see if by the time we get to the blaster um, it can hold up to what we've already pulled. Put some cards up here on the stand. Hopefully we get a few worthy of going on there. All right. So what I noticed on the back of these that I thought was pretty cool was that you can pull numbered cards, like the good numbered parallels, out of these small packs. So if we would happen to do that, it'd be a pretty great value. You only do get like two non-base, basically it says, on average per per pack, but you can get the normal stuff, but then you can get like the Crusade Pandora number to 75, the Thrillers Pandora number to 75, and then all of the typical inserts, Standing Ovation, Man in Motion, excuse me, Touchdown Club, Rookie Rush, etc. So I would love, just in this rip in general, to pull some of these, a Pandora uh, number to 75 of any of the parallels, but we'll see if that happens. All right, first one, we get 10 cards. Let's see what this format looks like as far as the order it goes in and such. One second, let me move my trash can over here. It'll make an absolute disaster on the floor. Okay. All right, so we've got a bunch of base probably at the front. And from what I've seen of other people, a lot of these are flipped upside down and we have a lot to open so I'm kind of just gonna not flip the base around. Alright, we got our first man in motion insert and then it looks like we probably have a couple parallels and then our rookies in the back probably. Man in motion, Justin Jefferson, rookie Hendon Hooker on the draft class and then Looks like we have a Crusade, which is a pretty sweet insert of Darrell Revis. Rookie Julius Brents. And do we end with another? We do. All right, you get a decent amount of opportunities to pull a good rookie in here, at least. Aiden O'Connell. That's not bad. That wasn't bad for like a retail pack. We got a lot. I mean, half of those cards were either a rookie or an insert. Let me organize these for you. All right, let's see if we can keep that up. I'm mostly curious that out of $30 worth of packs, do you pull something numbered? Because that would really be where the extra value comes in. All right, I gotta speed this up. Odell, Patty Mahomes. DK. All right. Looks like another man in motion of Lockett. Rookies and Stars. Mingo. Sorry, not Rookies and Stars. Rookie Rush. Jonathan Mingo. These look pretty sweet, but unless they're the parallel, they're kind of like Tank Bigsby. It's not a bad rookie, but not who we're looking for either. We obviously. Also, not a bad rookie, but not who we're looking for. Um. We're mainly looking for C.J. Stroud, Anthony Richardson, Bryce Young is good, and then I'm from Michigan, so obviously we have some good Lions rookies this year, Jameer Gibbs, Sam Laporta, I'd love some of those. 
Um, but yeah, that's the main ones we're hoping to hit on these rookie cards. Let's see if we can get one to put up on the stand out of there. All right, we're just gonna. All right, we have a green of Kyler Murray, Devontae Adams on the standing ovation. And then we have a rookie rush of Quentin Johnson, rookie Hendon Hooker. Just getting the wrong Lions player here. And Tank Dell. Also the wrong Texans player. All right. I do think so far that if you're just gonna like, if you don't wanna spend the full $3, you're gonna buy a couple of something, like this isn't bad. You get some good inserts out of it and stuff, but nothing numbered so far. Is that just a normal? We'll have to see what that is. Let's get rid of all this base on the front. All right. Tyree Wilson. Oh, I did that the wrong way. Dang it. Tyree Wilson again. Nice, Anthony Richardson on the Stellar Rookies. This is probably one of my favorite inserts. Let's go through the rest a second. Okay. This is probably one of my favorite inserts. Mostly because um, I just love the background on it. I feel like it, I like it way better than the purple, the predominantly purple on the Rookie Rush. I think I even like it better than the Crusades because the Crusades just has a lot going on, but nice. Right. Well, we're on the board. We're on the board with the uh, retail packs, so. And I guess we get, for the same amount of, the biggest thing is, is that we're getting less overall cards, actually, because we're getting 60 cards for the $30, whereas with this we're going to get 80, but is the quality better? Let's get these for guys. Green, rookie, Tyler Spence, Tyreek Hill, I'm going to keep doing that, Bijan, that's a good, that's a good card, I like Bijan, nice, another good rookie, Addison, the Vikings, and last one out of this pack is we're down to fourth. All right, we're getting some good cards. Because even the stuff I have put in the stand, we've gotten a few of like the good second tier rookies out of there. Right, real quick. All right, Kurt, who we got? Saquon Barkley on the green. Aaron Rodgers on the standing ovation. Not a Rodgers fan. Geno Smith, touchdown club. DTR, rookie. And last one out of these packs is Roshan Johnson. All right, that wasn't bad. Um. You, d you I mean, you pulled a decent amount of parallels and all that, so we'll go base on the bottom, non-base on top, and we'll just set it over here so you can just see it in the corner, and we'll uh, move our one hit from there over. All right, next up, we have the value packs, 40 cards per pack. Let's see how many they estimate to be a hit out of here. Um, eight in every pack. And basically, it looks like pretty much the exact same stuff you can get out of those retail, retail 10 card packs. All right. Come on. There you go. Whew, that's a lot of cards. All right, so we're going to 
apply through the front. Just make sure I don't miss when we turn into rookie cards. These all base. Okay. A lot of base. And now I would say probably a little more than half the pack is what we have left. Rams. Cooper Cup on the green. Stinson rookie green. Have a rookies and stars. Standing ovation Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup pack, I guess. Man, are they really gonna make me flip it every Man in Motion, Jahan Dotson. Man in Motion. Patrick Mahomes. Always take the Super Bowl champ on anything. Jalen Hurts, touchdown club. So I can get a little peek. Okay, I'm assuming all those have been the back are rookies. So, okay, this looks like, what are these called again? These aren't the Crusade, they're the uh, Airborne. I'd love to get a good rookie on an Airborne too. Or Purdy. That's a nice card. Let's let that there to be sleeved in a minute. JSN, stellar rookies. All right, now we have base rookie cards. Rishi Rice, that's nice. Connor, Downs, Zay Flowers, good rookie. Man, just cannot get the lines I want, I guess. Another Tank Dell. Will Levis, that's a nice one. Schoolmaker. Last card is a security tag. All right, we'll sleeve up the Brock Purdy here a second. We'll put that in the middle. All right, so again, you get a lot of chance. I mean, we got a lot of good rookie cards in there. Um, haven't hit a shroud yet, which is a bummer. Sorry, I'm just gonna. But you get a lot of chance at hits. We're gonna just take the security tag right out. Cruise through the base. Okay. You do get more cards, but you get a ton of base vets, so I don't really know if that's worth the extra. Russell Wilson. Another schoolmaker. Man, we like the Cooper Cup cards, I guess. Anyone a Rams fan, let me know. I can hook you up. And I guess Keenan Allen, Derrick Henry, Touchdown Club. Man, they already had that card too. All right, looks like we've got two Airborns in a row. We got a Jimmy Garoppolo and do we get a rookie? Oh my goodness, is it? Okay, at least it's not. It's kind of a bummer to miss on both Airborns though. Alright, can we get a Stroud? Help save the pack. Puka. You know, I've opened like not that much football this year, but a little bit, and I have never pulled a Puka yet, so we're pulling that out. Williams, Porter Jr. Oof, man, does it to you again. He's even like Will Anderson, Jeff Sanders. All right, not anything too crazy. I almost feel like we have a similar, I mean, we definitely got more base rookies. So if you want to get, we're just going to soft sleeve the Puka. If you want a ton of chances at hitting a base rookie, this is probably the format to go. But I feel like percentage-wise of just like base to inserts and stuff, it was pretty much like you actually get a way better percentage on the value packs. All right. Last but hopefully not least, we got these are our two best cards out of there. We didn't get anything numbered or anything too crazy. The nice part out of these blasters, I'll show you once we get the packaging off here. 
is it comes with five red and two red plaid parallels and one auto or mem. So these red plaid look sweet. So it gives you like just an extra chance to hit something cool and valuable. However, I have seen a lot of people open this and get panini points instead of their auto MM. So with only buying one box, can we be fortunate enough to not get panini points? Can we get our auto? Preferably an auto, not a mint, but can we get that? So, all right, let's fill up that stand. Let's have to get a couple more out. I guess I'm going to pull from the top on these. I don't want to rip. Alright, if you're uh, stuck around this far, thanks for being here. Please uh, leave a, a like or a comment down below. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this content and want to see more. I'm trying to come out with at least four or five videos a week. Open whatever I can get my hands on and give some good reviews here. So any of the support means a lot. Alright, where's our first... We've got a rookies and stars. Darnell Wright. Brutal. Justin Herbert. On the Stenny Ovation. Justin Fields on the Man in Motion. And final rookie. PJ. Well, nothing to write home about in that one. Oh, right, we gotta do this. We gotta go. Man, these things are like super stuck together. Alright, we're gonna go like this. Alright, we got our first of two red plaids. I would love something sick on this. Devontae Adams Thrillers. I love the Thrillers cards. Not a rookie, but oh well. Man, how many touchdown club Jalen Hurts have we got? At least three. Hey, got my Lions. Jeffrey Gibbs. And Jake Moody, which is kind of fun because he also a Michigan fan. All right. The Devontae Adams. Thrillers might be a little bit better than this, but we're going to put them up there because he's my guy. But we're also going to sleeve this. All right, warming up. Warming up. Can we keep that trend and get something even more out of here? I just, I've, I'm really torn after watching some videos of people opening this because some boxes are like loaded and some are absolute. Ugh. And oh, savage. Panini points. All right, well, at least it's a 250. I saw someone get a 150, and I'm like, oof, that's just like insult to injury. But uh, yeah, hate to see it. Okay, lines again, we like that. Will Anderson. Simpson. Alright, we have still yet to see CJ out of any of this product. Oh, there's my... Which is disappointing. I mean, if you're going to open all the formats, $90 worth of stuff, you do kind of think like, hey, I should get at least one CJ shroud, even if it's just a base or something. I guess we've only really gotten the one Anthony Richardson too, so maybe they're just short printing some of it. Who knows? Well, hopefully I didn't completely screw that up. Alright. Oh, that's just another base. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? I keep doing that wrong way. Alright. Our red plaid is a Crusades, Trevor Lawrence. 
And then we got a red Kyle Evans. I'll put that there to sleeve it once we finish this pack. Debo. Man, and why, do they have to flip it so much? Like, good night. All right, soft sleeve the T law. Man, oh man. This blaster better pick it up, otherwise I feel like I'm voting elsewhere for value here. Which let me know what you think, but that's kind of where I'm at. Because look at how much, I mean, look how much of this base you're getting in the front of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I have one left in front of it. So, I mean, you're getting more base in that than you are in a retail pack. It was seemingly the same amount of chances of pulling anything special in number. Mar Jackson. Tank Dell. Man, it's like me out with the Texans again for a second until I read it. Okay. Last pack of the blaster and last pack of the rip before we give a little review here. Give a little recap. All right, let's hope that that's something worthwhile. Upside down, of course. Come on, come on, come on. Man, crushing me on this. All right, this must be a, yeah, it's an airborne. Herbert. Tony Porter Jr. All right, let's grab the, other two out of there. All right, well, here's what we got. Out of the blaster, this is our stack. Here's our stack out of $30 worth of a fat pack. And here's our stack out of $30 worth of retail. You definitely got less cards in this, but half of them were hits, right? Like rookies or parallels. And we got our best card out of those. Hmm. Anthony Richardson and the Stellar Rookies out of there. We got the Brock Purdy Airborne out of the Fat Packs. And we got a Jameer Gibbs Draft Class. And then, like, these aren't big hits. They're just cool because they come in the pack, but we didn't get anyone crazy on them. So it's like, hmm, if you're going to spend your 30 bucks, I almost feel like a good way to go is going in on these. And seeing what you can get out of them just because you have so many opportunities for a hit. If you want more chances at a base rookie, I say you go, you get three of these and one of these. Because this gives you a lot, a lot, a lot of base rookies. Way more than this. So, that's where I'm at. Let me know down in the comments, what's your favorite format to open of this? Have you pulled anything really cool out of it? Um, leave a like before you go, and thanks for being here.